Remember, there's some pretty important information here in the disclaimer. You might want to give the video a quick pause and read it. Hello my friends, this is WakeAngel2001 coming at you with another commission for a friend of mine, uh, Zach. Uh, this is an unusual one. He wanted um, what I'm going to dub Chaos Metallics. Okay, so um, if anyone's familiar with Super Mario Bros. Z, you've probably seen this iteration of Metallics. It's a... Uh, you know, basically like a super powerful Metal Sonic robot kind of thing that we got going on. It's awesome and cool. Um, and what Zach wanted me to make wasn't this, but a very specific homage to it. Basically, he wanted me to take a regular Metal Sonic's head, stick it onto the body of Chaos Sonic from Sonic Prime, and then, um, and then paint it up in a color scheme that homages the Metallics thing. So... Yeah, that's what we're going for. Uh, now, the reason that there's a picture of a little 2.5-inch Classic Sonic there is because he did send that to me so that I could use its head. But I happen to have a spare head left over from my shard figure, so I just used that head. The The blue matches better anyway. Like, if you notice, modern the modern Metal Sonic's blue is darker than Classic Metal Sonic's blue, and modern Metal Sonic's blue matches Chaos Metal Sonic's better. It's just funny that it works out that way. Uh, so, a quick digibashing was in order. I, uh, colored it up a couple different ways so that Zach could choose the one that he liked better, and he went with this one. I know the digibash is pretty lame looking, but, you know, I'm, I, I just literally use the paint fill and shape tools. Like, I'm not, I'm not actually trying to Photoshop this thing into looking like it. I, I work with paint brushes, not mice. A computer mouse. You don't want to talk about. Alright, so the first thing I had to do was modify the neck peg on the Chaos Sonic's fig figure's body to, uh, you know, accommodate the Metal Sonic head. If this doesn't work, then nothing does. Uh, so since Chaos Sonic has a universal joint on his neck that lets him look up and down as well as left and right, his neck peg is actually this ring. I trimmed the edges of the ring just a little bit so that they would be able to fit inside of the peg hole on Metal Sonic's head and... Basically, that was it. Uh, so yeah, the head can swivel left and right. It no longer has the up and down thing because it's not shaped for that. But, you know, it's the same level of articulation that regular Metal Sonic has. What do you want from me? Um, I was actually surprised how much of this I was able to dismantle. Like, um, a lot of these are mushroom pegs and ball joints. And um, the only parts that couldn't come out are the, the hips and the shoulders. Because the torso, again, is made out of a harder plastic that doesn't get soft when you boil it. But, <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, all that needed to do was get repainted. Oh, and I will say, um, he did not want any remolding to be done, but there is just a tiny bit of remolding. If you see here on the chest, you can see I put that square little gemstone on his chest, uh, which is in the same place as the gemstone on, on the Metallics figure. And, um, yeah, that's, that just kind of has to be there, because... It would be weird if this thing didn't have some relief to it. The same thing for the arms. There's just a little bit sculpted onto the forearms to be those little gems that he has on his on his arms. Uh, but aside from that, everything else is just straight up repainted. So, yeah, I didn't alter the look of the base body. I didn't remove anything. I didn't change any major shapes. So, like, aside from these three little specks of sculpting, it's pretty much a pure repaint. Um... If, if I was really trying to capture the metallic sting, I would have added the two extra spines, but he specifically only wanted me to add the striping and colors. So, uh, you know, I gray inside the ears instead of yellow, the white highlights on the tips of his, of his spines and around his eyes, you know, like all, all that good stuff. I also offered to paint it a nice silver, but he said that he preferred to keep it gray. Which is fine, because my gray paint actually looks pretty good. I, I almost never let it shine, because almost everything I paint gray ends up having, um, you know, silver put on top of it. But, you know, it's a pretty good looking gray on its own. Uh, the feet, um, 
they're just red. I added the white and the soles to kind of, again, match the overall color scheme, even if uh, I'm not doing anything to change the shapes or anything. And uh, that's it. Uh, my only regret is that the blue that I have, the blue paint that I have doesn't quite match Metal Sonic's blue. Um, it's, I tried to make it a little bit darker, but if I added even the tiniest amounts of black paint to try and darken it, it would just kind of come out looking muddy. It wouldn't look darker, it would look like I'm making a different shade. Like, it, it, it makes any sense. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't work. Um, anyway, like, the bright flash of my camera makes it look way more different than it actually is, but, uh, if you were holding this thing under regular lighting, like in your apartment, it would be really hard for us to tell the difference between the two shades of blue, uh, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, but yeah, like, since, uh, I didn't do any real remolding on this figure, it still retains all of Chaos Sonic's articulation. This is one of the best articulated figures that they actually put out in any kind of Sonic line, not gonna lie. And, uh, and, you know, aside from the fact that he loses the universal neck and trades it in for a simple civil neck, you get this, uh, interesting little homage. So that's why I decided to go with the Chaos Metallics thing, because it's a Chaos Sonic body with Metallics' color scheme. So, there we go. So, uh, yeah, relatively simple thing. Uh, moving on to the next thing, hopefully. And this is Wake Angel 2001 signing off. Oh, hey everybody, it's me, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Just here to remind you that if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. And for even more amazing customs, don't forget to subscribe to Wake Angel 2001. Because between you and me, they're way past cool.